Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we're going to show you how to segment and filter subscription data in Google Analytics 4. Now, once you navigate to Google Analytics account, you're going to make sure you click on the admin cog on the bottom left hand corner. And then you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you get to custom definitions. Go ahead and click in on that. We're going to go ahead and create a custom dimension. Now for the dimension name, we're going to type in affiliation. I'm going to make sure the scope is event. Then you can add a description if you want right here and make sure that the event parameter is also affiliation. Then you're going to go ahead and click on save. Now your new custom dimension has been created. So let's go navigate to the explore tab and then you should have the sales performance set up already. If not, we'll link the video on how to set that up. You're going to go ahead and duplicate this report and you'll see that appear at the top copy of sales performance. Click in on that. Now you can change the name here if you want. We're going to leave this for now and we're going to change instead of free form. We're going to make sure it says all orders. And this is now going to become the all orders view since this is the sales performance. We're going to duplicate this report and we're going to change the name of this to one time purchases plus first time subscriptions. Now you're going to scroll down until you get to the filter section. You're going to click in on that and then for the dimension select affiliation. For the filter match type you're going to select does not match regex. Once you click that you're going to enter the following expression for recurring orders and then you're going to go ahead and click apply. Now you can double click on affiliation on the left hand side and you'll be able to see that all recurring orders are now filtered out of this report. Now you're going to go back to all orders and you're going to duplicate that again and you're going to name this subscription segments. So here we're going to add in subscription segments and we'll show you exactly how to do that. Now you'll go to the segments on the left hand side. You'll click on events segment since it's not a user segment and then you can search for the purchase event and then you're going to add the parameter for custom you're going to select affiliation and then for the condition you're going to select that this does not match regex and you're going to again apply the filter pattern this one's going to be for subscription and then you're going to go ahead and click apply you'll name this segment one-time purchases otp and you'll save and apply now we're going to go ahead and create another segment. We're going to choose the event segment again, and we're going to name this either first sub or however you want to name it. For the new condition, we're going to go ahead and type in purchase, click in on that. And then for the parameter, we'll go with custom affiliation and for the condition matches regex and we'll type in the filter pattern here and this will be first order. And then we're going to go ahead and click on apply and then save and apply. Now we're going to create one more segment and this is again going to be an event segment. So we're going to name this recurring and then for this one we're going to add in purchase for the event and then the parameter is going to be custom affiliation and it's going to match the regex and it's going to match recurring. Then go ahead and click apply and then you're going to save and apply. Now you'll have all of this in one report and you can easily access this, share this with your colleagues and you can remove the segments and you can have all this filtered data in one report for easy access regarding subscriptions. Now, on top of that, you can also go to the report section. You can go down to acquisition and click on the traffic acquisition report and you can customize this report as well. You can click in on that and for the dimensions, you can go ahead and select the session source medium and click on the three dots and set this as the default. Click apply. And next we're going to build a filter. So here you're going to go exclude and for the dimension you're going to type in affiliation. You're going to select that and then the dimension values. You can start typing in recurring and once you see all values containing recurring, go ahead and click on that. That will save you time from having to select each type of recurring order that is present. Click apply and then you can save this report. Now one more thing, 
In the traffic acquisition report, you can select session source medium directly in the report. Now you're gonna scroll all the way to the right. And to look at the session conversion rate, you wanna make sure to change this to purchase if you're sending other events that are marked as conversions. That'll help you analyze the data better. As always, happy exploring.